trying to do here, guys, is I gotta pick up a mess from another contractor that walked off the job. So this wouldn't be the exact way I'd go about cleaning the job up originally, but we're making a fantastic headway today. Uh, just Sean and I with the feet time head and uh, hauling the wood off site. So yesterday, we talked about material that has to be hauled off site. This would be a prime example of everything has to go. So the gentleman underbid the job and he walked off. He took half the money and disappeared. So you get what you pay for. Uh, again, what, whatever you start, finish, even if you underbid the job, because the builder has a bunch more lots that you know you could have potentially had so but what we're doing i'm basically cutting the tops right off sean is with the chainsaw i'm making a brush pile right here and over there and uh mulching it with the feet cut head uh, these pine trees up in front of me i'll end up taking out with the feet cut head itself um while they're standing so So this way I keep the I keep the room or working floor open, keeping all the debris out of the way for Sean, keeping it safe for my guys. And uh, let the machine do the work. I mean, that's what it's for. This thing's here to do the work for me and it's a great machine.
twisting with the machine, I can make those trees dance and go where they need to go, where I want them to go. Sean now as he's cutting the branches off I'm just going to slowly pull them away to make sure nothing's caught up underneath it. Um, all these branches that you might not see are sticking up underneath them with all the vines and everything so you gotta be careful you can really hurt your health here.
that branch there where he was walking. Gotta be careful. It's not being in a rush, but being efficient. Kind of just trap it on an angle so I could drag that out. And relieve the pressure when you drop it off so there's no tension underneath the logs when he's making a cut.